This seems like the same internals that the other one had. There we go, there Could is one. So let's heal up. Yes. I mean, if you look at, uh, like, Shining Force 1, all of the HQs are all the same. Oh, yeah. Aside from, aside from the ship. That's true. Which I always felt kind of weird about. I was like, do they just have these for us? Do we set these up? Like, what? <laughs> what is the lore behind this? Okay, so we've saved so... them. Oh, is this a secret? I'd put a secret here. No. Okay. Guess not. So, you were saying? If you roll call, roll call Shining Force 1, they had a bunch of, like, keeps and strongholds just kind of scattered around the map that were, you know, existing from ancient times. I see. And so, each town likely had some kind of, like, keep or outpost base of operations headquarters that you could come in and use. I'm just saying, is there a lore reason they're all the same? Oh. Looks... No, but there's a what? game development reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, looks... A musical car seems to run down there. Alright, I'm trying to fathom what we're about to see. All I can I imagine forget. is... I, I don't remember what this is either, but... All I can imagine is a VW Bug. Something like, uh... uh maybe like a clown car. Oh. But isn't that... The National Orchestra, yeah. Arthur, stare at the car. But do you think they are going to Tommins? We must stop them before they reach the city entrance. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, they won't. The town is under a revolt. They would not enter. They're entering. The car entered Tommins. <laughs> ah! Dang it! It seems you are a little bit wrong, Rutho. What are we waiting for, then? Let's go! Alright, let's go save Never mind. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, it's funny to me how uh, seamless that transition is. And that's something that's not always easy to do either. Yes. Yeah, I think this, uh, even just this engine has a lot of promise. Yeah, when you said, uh, like, it was written in Ruby. So Ruby is kind of like its own thing. It's not built on, like, any particular engine. Mm -hmm. So you're essentially looking at just, like, straight code. I'm not super familiar what, with what's involved on that end, but... This is quite the open field. All right. So it sounds like a circus. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh my gosh, there's cutscenes. <laughs> wow. This guy. I'm. Do I advance it or do I just let it play? No, you you let it play. Okay. I am already very impressed. Oh, okay. Mr. Koichi, aren't you? Mister, this is order from the king. You must stop. These people are brigand. I can't. Order from the king. Stop right now. <laughs> ah! Pr proud of you? What is happening? My music and my magic wand was here to allow me to distract them. Now they'll attack everyone. They aren't in my sphere of control anymore. Because that wand is magic? Aren't you supposed to be a composer? The actual word is conductor, but... No time to speak. We must stop them. You look like... Warrior? You're a guild of the Empire? Guild 7. Okay, let me join you then. You'll need someone able to distract them. Oh, hey, that was unexpected. Man, I'm in guild 7 now. <laughs> it seems like only yesterday I was in guild number 5. I am so confused. Let's stop them right now. Okay, this might be the only SRPG that gives you a music conductor. Where? Yeah. 
where are they? <laughs> I don't s okay, I guess, I guess we can move kind of, oh, whoops. I guess we'll just move up a little. I don't know where they are. And the reasoning for uh, that is because bards usually don't have a very long lifespan. Oh. It's a little bit chonky to the side. Uh, let's okay, see. maybe he ate one too many donuts, but... Oh, they're down there. Yeah. Well, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I could have told you that, but... <laughs> But it's more fun to watch me struggle. Oh yeah. That's fine, I, I agree. People seem to feel the same. I like too that since she's a centaur, her move range is insane. That makes sense to me. Oh, and, and too, if you look at it, it's generating in like perfect diamond format. So it's, the walls are not preventing you from like going around them. I see what you're saying. Um, let's... Alright, let's 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 deal with one side first, I think. They're all gonna move towards us. So we'll go deal with one side first. Alright, he actually has a decent move, too. We also have a lot more move than the enemy, I'm noticing. Alright, I mean, I don't think anybody can reach us, so let's just start. Can we one-shot them? We can. Exactly. By 12. Alright. This is wild to me. Um, oh, and I'll put... <laughs> uh, I should have said earlier... I will put a link to where you can download this in the description, so if any of you want to play it, give it a shot, um, it'll be there. I believe it right now it's hosted on uh, sh either Shining Force Mods or it's just on Shining Force Central proper. I don't remember where it was at. I think I just pulled it out of Discord. Mm, I forget where I when found it, but uh, I'll, I've got it bookmarked, so... I can find it it's again. It's probably on, uh, like, Shining Source. Mmm... Maybe. I was a little disappointed. A lot of the stuff on Shining Source is actually down. Yeah, that... A lot of those links don't work anymore. I mean, that tends to happen over time, because, yeah. you know, you'll have somebody upload something to, like, Dropbox, and it'll be, like, a direct link to that, but then they pull it. Yeah. So, like... All of my demos right now are linked to basically my Google Drive. I and if see. like one day I just decided to, you know, purge that or whatever, it'll be, you know, all those links would still be pointing to that spot, but that I spot see. would not be empty. That makes but sense. The nice thing about Google Drive though is it has like version control and so like while I don't necessarily use it um, basically what I do is, like, if I release, like, a new version of a demo, I'll just, like, replace the file, and then this way all the links still point back to that same spot. Oh, sweet. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I had no idea it had a function like that. Yeah, I don't know when they, uh, when they added that, but I think that was a couple years ago. I'm wondering how much application that has for things outside of, like, game de uh, development. Maybe it's like if you're working on a project or a presentation or something. Usually, yeah, if it's uh, like business related stuff. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like you have multiple versions of like an Excel file, mm -hmm. or like an engineering drawing or something. All right, I want to see the art for, um, what's his name? Koichi. Oh, it's can do five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He does one. Oh, but he leveled, at least. Can he take a hit? We'll find out. Oh, yeah, he can. Okay, well, he's not too bad, then. What level is he? Uh, I think four. 
I guess that would explain the damage disparity. I honestly don't remember him ever doing a decent amount of damage. Okay, well... I, I don't think this demo is super long, so I won't worry about leveling him too much, but... Haha, -ha, we can stand on the other side of the table. I was hoping to use the tables at some point. <laughs> um, I'll let him uh, get in there again, I think, yeah. There we go, get up there and start by- oh, or I could be on wait, oops. Good job. I'm used to Shining Force, where if I'm next to somebody, it will be on attack. If it's a thing I oh, can do. Oh, it doesn't auto- it doesn't automatically do it. Darn it. Yeah, no, it does not. There we go. You know, it's, a, it's amazing how, like, looking at a game like Shining Force, where just a simple feature like that is... It's... It's something that's, like, so ingrained in your mind that, like, any time you play something that doesn't do that... Yeah. You always push the wrong button. All right, it's one of those features more. that nobody really, like, pays attention to. Yeah, I wondered if it was if I face him it's that way, but the answer is no. Oh, I just realized, is he ranged? He might be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember him being ranged. Alright. Phew! That was tough! Huh, well, sorry for getting angry earlier. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to stop them too long. My magic is very limited, I apologize. Don't worry, I apologize as well. I know... Is the excuse me time over? is over, guys. I remember you that we need to travel to Benedicta. It's not near at all. We have a good way before reaching the town. Thank you. Thank your help, Koichi. We need to go further to our final destination. Well about that, I think I'll go with you. The orchestra can almost play the anthem and can almost play the anthem and many musics without me. My friend Edgar shall lead the orchestra during my absence. Okay, that's the mayor that we just met. I think I should help you. Hmm, Arthur, what do you think? Arthur smiled like if he was agree with that. Welcome into the team, Koichi. Arthur, lead us to Benedicta. Now! Man, tell me what you really want. <laughs> okay, so does this town have an inn, or is it just a giant stage? And that's what this town is. Oh, it's got NPCs walking around. Oh, it's around. gotten in. All right. And we're going to keep going. All right. More confetti. Yeah, I started laughing because as soon as I was like, I started another recording, Chaos was your guest confetti. <laughs> and I've got stuff. I, I can make confetti rain, so I'll make sure I do that in post. I've got Perfect. like this super ugly confetti gift. We got to make one of those like, like party sounds too. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, so I know where we're supposed to go, but like I don't want to go there because this is shining inspired and I want to see if I can go to that other country. I do 27 to him now, dear lord. Kind of makes you, you know, think that like an Arthur solo in this game would definitely be possible. Uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, I want to try going to this other country. Oh. Oh, can I not? No. It seems like you have to look at people dead on to talk to I guess maybe you now can. Uh. Oh no. If I do it, it's totally gonna break the game. Yeah, I guarantee the battle's gonna end and you're gonna be on the other side of the guards <laughs> unable to get back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But it's really tempting. I, I won't break it. This is a shame there's no, like, save state. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was like, do I want to do all that stuff again? Not really. Okay, so we can't go to... What was that? Renaria? Oh, okay. technically you can. <laughs> it is not developed yet. It's not a developed nation. Alright, I'm trying to go see what's in this little corner, if that's a thing. Bang. Bang. 
Yeah, I think everybody can just one-shot these things at this point. Yeah, the, uh, the random spawn guys, I don't remember them ever, like, actually changing. I don't know if they're, they're random spawns or if they're just, like, in a set location, and then once you get there, they spawn in. It feels like random, because I've definitely walked, like, onto a tile, moved off it, walked back, and then they spawn. But it's not the worst I've seen of that. The worst uh, random encounters I've ever seen in a game was, uh, I played this Inuyasha RPG for the DS when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And the random encounters were extremely brutal, and it was super hard. At least as a kid, I couldn't figure out how to heal your party consistently. So, and then, uh, if you game over it, it would send you back to the last town, but, like, it wouldn't restore your health. So I, I ended up softlocking with, like, one health on all my party members. And then if you walk out of the town and take, like, two steps, it would be a random encounter. Oh, no. So I just never finished that game because it was like, this is just not playable. I need to revisit it, uh, revisit it as an adult and see if it's, like, actually that bad. But I, sh I sure remember it being bad. I have never been a fan of random encounters, like, at all. Yeah. The only time they work is a game, something like Fantasy Star, where it's not a tactical game and you just kind of need them. You button mash your way through it. Right. I don't know. Or, I still think you could balance. Or a game like pokemon where it has more value know, and you discover it has more it has more value but in the same regard you know after seeing 100 zubats you kind of get upset but you can always buy like a repel a repel yeah yeah am i going there so i was gonna see if i was going the right way random encounter yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I'm not a fan of random encounters much either. Because it, like, usually I would just rather you balance your game where I don't need them, because I see them as a waste of time after about the 10th one in each area. Right, and that's that's kind of one of the thing that goes into, like, game development is... You know, at some point something is going to become tedious, and if something is tedious, that means it's not fun. Yeah. Now you can have like a tedious grind that ends up being fun. Yeah. But especially unlike... um you can make it worth it. And the reason the shining formula works so well for me is that if uh you pretty much any challenge, if you offer a character at the end of it, I'm up for it. If you offer a character up at the end of it or you know, a better sword or a new swords? area or something. New area would be good. Swords, I don't get excited for. I don't get excited for gear the way I do characters. Characters are just the most exciting. I should do this, because then if I game over, I'll spawn back here. Oh, wait. But... It... Oh, okay, yeah. Here we go. This is the way out. So, yeah, we do that, and then it's down and to the left. I assume we're going to Benedicta now. Yep. Neat. Gonna be honest, I didn't expect uh, the inside of this cave to be paved. <laughs> well, how else are they supposed to get carts to and from? I mean, it's definitely helpful for that. Oh, okay, we have, like, a different background. That looks nice. I'm assuming that's lifted from Shining something, but I'm not sure what. Down of course, too. Oh, okay. Is that, like, the inside of Galloway Castle? Either inside of Gallon Castle, or it might be uh, Shining for CD as well. Okay, I've not played CD yet, so I. It's been it's been quite a while for me. Wouldn't know. Do I have? Okay, I don't get a map in here. Okay, well, I do get random encounters, however. <laughs> Bang. Yep, we're just gonna keep uh keep getting that three XP for Arthur and Melody. Oh, you know what people probably want to see? They probably want to see, uh... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> His defense is actually not too bad. Two less than Arthur, and he's way level- he's way lower. That's funny. Uh, 
Oh, man. I never looked at the status page until, like, afterward. Like, like the first, like, two minutes of the game, so... Yeah, I just realized. I was like, oh, I should check his portrait. Ah, that's awesome. There's... There's definitely one more portrait to check. I'm, I'm curious. Okay. Bang. I don't know if you if it gives you the option to or not. Uh, I'm definitely a little bit lost. Yeah, I remember being lost in here. This is a big map. Yeah, I guess I can just keep. I'll just keep moving Arthur along. <laughs> some other people can get some uh, some EXP for once. You know, this is a perfect speedrunning strategy because. When the battle's done, it always goes back to uh, your main yeah. character's location. Yeah, that would just. Do you guys want to see speedruns of this? Let me know. That that might be fun. I, I've never done speedrunning stuff before, but I've thought about it. With a, uh, I've seen some people doing like speedruns on Shining Force Two. They they randomize the recruitment and stuff on the main character, and then do escape from Grands. So that could be fun. And this this could be another fun little speed run. Potentially. Not good enough to do speed runs. I mean I'm not either, you gotta practice. Yeah. But uh If if there is any game I'm gonna be good enough uh, good enough at to do speed runs, it's gonna be shining something, I think. Or at least any game that I'm willing to put the time in. Because I'm willing to put time into shining anything. I assume I'm going the right way. You should do a speedrun of 99 all skills in RuneScape. Oh, no. I'll leave that for psychopaths. <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise. These people that do speedruns that are like multiple days long, I'm like... And Thankfully, they finally started putting in a uh, sleep time as part of the speedruns. Like, it's not going to be valid unless you uh, took, like, a five-hour break at this time. And I'm like, yeah, like, good. But, man. Okay, there's stairs. So they just build in, like, a set timer in there? Like, they increase your score by, like, five hours or something? Yeah, that you're supposed to you're supposed to sleep or rest or something because I forget what some of them are that are really really long like a hundred percenting uh, some Final Fantasy game I think is one of the longer ones. I I've looked at videos on YouTube that talk about like what the actual longest speed runs are and I say that in heavy air quotes because it's like is it really about speed at that point when it's multiple days long like. Yeah, at that uh, point, it's an endurance challenge. Essentially, yeah. It's like that thing in Rock Rock Band that there's a mode that have you has you oh, played. Oh, the endless set list. Yeah. yeah, the entire set list front to back in one thing, and you can't even pause. No pausing or failing. Bladder steel award. Got it three times. You've done this. Mhm. Mm oh, fun. It's like it's only like five and a half hours. Only he says. <laughs> No, I have, like, the, the world's worst... smallest bladder, so that sounds terrible to me. The worst part about it is all the songs are ordered from easiest to hardest. Yeah, so, so... you're playing the hardest stuff last, and you, the stuff that you're more likely to fail, you play at the end. Mm-hmm. You can play it on any difficulty, mm -hmm. though, correct? Uh, medium or higher. Okay. So you can't, you can't play it on easy. Alright, I mean, that's fair. Medium's not bad. No. Hard and expert is uh, pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Played a lot of Rock Band and Guitar Hero in my, in my day. The weirdest one I have? I've got DJ Hero. That gets weird. That one I haven't played. Oh, it's fun. I wish they'd release the soundtrack, because there's no single songs in it. They're all songs mixed with other things, and they're really fun. <laughs> like, the way that they uh, have you mix them and stuff, like, to get the proper score and stuff, it, it ends up pretty fun. 
some of them are pretty good songs. But I guess licensing wise, uh, people don't want their music used that way. Uh, Probably, yeah. In a way that's easy to consume, so I get that, but well, I don't probably, really. they, Licensing wise, they probably have a. Uh, they could have a thing in there where it's like, yeah, you can use, you know, this music or sprite or whatever, but you can't actually modify it. Yeah. I think that's why we don't get the uh, Michael Jackson tracks in Sonic Origins. Yeah. Same thing with, um, because I have the actual, like, CD for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And same thing, the, uh, the original, like, put two songs in there. Or, no, there's three of them. Those are replaced with something else. I see. trying to give uh, Koichi, if that's how you say his name. I'm not sure how you say his name, Koichi. Uh, I'm gonna try and give him, I'm trying to give him, like, something, but I think everybody just one-shots, pretty much. Oh no, okay. Oh, Lucy leveled. Alright, yeah, we'll- Actually, we'll... one-shot everything. Yeah. <laughs> so does he have, uh, yeah, okay, he's ranged. He's just so big. I know. I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna... Curious. Go ahead, sorry. I'm curious if that was a sprite that was found or created. I'm betting created. Because Arthur is 100% created. Yeah, he said uh, his brother, I think, helped him make that. Or, no, his friend. His friend helped him make that. He didn't say Let's who, see. but... I am curious though, like regarding like Koichi. Like why why wouldn't you just like say like hey make it within this size? Like if it is custom created. Hey, obviously it. if it's borrowed from somewhere else then that's not gonna Yeah. I mean it could just that, be but... lack of ability. Like I know if I had to I, I wanna create some sprites and stuff, like just to have them like I, I want to help the shining community however I can because obviously I think it's something I, I I think it's something I'm pretty obviously passionate about um because I saw you were looking for uh like sprite work recently yeah but like I am I have my stuff entire... would all look like Koichi or worse I have an entire chapter's worth of sprites I need I mean technically I got like five or six chapters of sprites I need but I start with chapter one first I see. Bang. See, the issue is, like, with some of my stuff... Like, this one enemy in particular, which naturally happens in Battle 2, uh, there is no sprite base that I can use anywhere. I see. It is a custom creature. Hey, leveled up. All right, let's see what Benedicta looks like. Mayor Michael. Ah, welcome to my town. It is a true pleasure to welcome you here. Do you know how old is the Empire? 400 years. Yes, that's it. It's... Wait, we are happy to... about that, but wasn't there a revolt earlier today? Yeah, things look strangely okay. A revolt? No, no, no. There is absolutely no revolts of any kind here. It's strange. I've been informed that your city is in the midst of an uprising. Probably a hoax. Come on, instead of caring about this fake news, come with us and enjoy the fest. I don't trust this at all. I am curious how close these towns are together. Yeah. Because this is all happening over the course of a day. Yeah, that's but true. The towns themselves are big, especially if you look at like the map. Like, yeah, they the seem region. quite quite far away. Like, Shining Force, going from Guardiana to Alterone, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, like, at least, like, a two-day journey. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm, this seems suspicious. Arthur, let's explore the town and investigate on this case. I agree. I can't talk to you. It's weird that I, like, paused him. Oh, there we go. What are you waiting for? Have fun. 
He's a ghost. And he's out of there. <laughs> he's a ghost. Hmm. You have anything to say, woman? No. Hi? I love it. <laughs> Hi. I can't move left and right on this bridge. Um... You can go up now. Okay. <laughs> he just kind of materialized out of nowhere. I was like, is this actually a ghost? Like, what is this? And then I, I half expected him to start following me around. Like, being creepy. I like the music. It's possible that they're disabled until um, you enter the area. Right. Hmm. How did he get over there so fast? I was about to say that same thing. Hmm. Yeah, people. Because I'm noticing. I don't. I don't know if it's Discord, but they're like fading in. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you see like new NPC. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's why I've just kind of been stunned. I was stunned by him the first time. I was like, uh. Yeah, yeah. They they're kind of fading in. It could be like a... Oh, there's a guard. With... Uh... <laughs> that's also not Discord, that's real. Ha I... I think there's something suspicious going on here. Ah, uh, no, that's... That's... That's Marcus. Oh yeah, good old Marcus. <laughs> Greetings, my friends. Ots Bince. What? Have you seen a little penguin? She's a kid of my orphanage. Ah, now we're getting the weird shining races. I love it. Masasi. Where was you, my girl? Though though I was gonna die. Gonna to die. <laughs> Sorry. Daddy, daddy, I was trying to find you. For everyone who's wanted a clip of me saying, daddy, there you go. Me too. Is that seriously a thing? No. <laughs> I don't know. I was, gonna say, what, I was it's, gonna say, what kind of fan base do you have? <laughs> it's the internet, I have no idea. Me too, it's been hours. What have you been doing? Daddy, all those guards, they aren't Itarians. So it's a racist penguin. No. What do you mean? Oh, the music stops. Do you... Dared, Passetto, I don't, to, to, me. Oh, it's Dark Soul. I mean, Lord Chorus.